making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh To come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Hello friends and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21 We are in those final few days of Vlogmas with some surprises on the way. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. But all things are great. Um, we are going to settle into the morning. I hear them stirring upstairs so they will be on their way down. And we're gonna make it a really great day. We're gonna make it a great, great day. Oh. Every time a bell rings above his kids, his way. Did he fall? Did he fall into the tree? I don't know. <laughs> Bubby, what just happened? It was a grand entrance. I'm having a piece of sourdough toast with a little bit of earth balance butter and then some hard boiled egg on top and some Trader Joe's to everything but the bagel seasoning. What's Bubby having for breakfast? Farmer's, farmer's dog. dog, personalized farmer's dog, but it's the chicken one. It's the, it's the smelly chicken. Hold on, don't open it. <laughs> Let me finish my breakfast before you open that. Simple, easy breakfast. I got these really cute Christmas plates from Target a while ago. I love them. Steven is now making his coffee. It's toast. Yes, he knows, and eggs. You have your own breakfast. You have your own breakfast. Oh, he went the wrong way. <laughs> Bubby's having a morning. Oh, look, we're actually cleaned up with nice hair. So this is what my haircut looks like when it's all styled, which I look a lot nicer now. Um, you guys only see me like right after I wake up and then like right before I'm ready to go to bed or that I've been doing something. Um, so I'm just wearing a black sweatshirt, some jeans, and then these Golden Goose sneakers that are literally just the best. It is only 32 degrees out, so I am going to throw on a heavy coat, and we are going to go pick up some cash first, so I have for tips, and uh, we're going to go get these nails done, and I have a big surprise. I think they're going to look cool. Stephanie and I were actually texting about it, and she's like, I could totally pull this off, and it's going to look amazing. So we're on our way. All right, friends. So I am back. My nail appointment was at 10. It is now 12.30. That's how long it took us. I also got a pedicure as well, but my nails are so good. Hold on, let me see if I can get good lighting so you can actually see them. So there's a snowflake, a dried orange, pine, a candle, and then a gold star. I wanted something like neutral and fun, and I think they are so cool. The dried orange is like it for me. So that's what we did. Bubby is outside 
taking care of business. I'm gonna eat some lunch. We've worked out. Danielle and I are going to get together this evening. Um, at a little wine bar to exchange gifts. And yeah. Bubby, do you want a treat? Let me take care of him. I have been tidying up the house and I wrapped a couple of gifts that I have. Danielle and I are going out and I just finished wrapping her gift. I have this beautiful olive bow and then this rifle paper company and then I paired it with this just brown craft paper, which is my favorite thing, but look how cute that is. All right, let's go ahead and open advent calendar so I can get a bulk of today's vlog already edited. Day 21. I mean, how sad is it that we're at the end point of all of this? Another Ylang Ylang and Tuberose goat milk soap. Like I said, I love having these bars of soap for guest rooms. 21, 21. 21, there's 23. No, oh, 21 is right here. We got a Magic Touch Body Cream. Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom. I've heard lots of good things about rice milk. Doo -doo -doo. 21. Put that right here. I have tried their bath salts. They're really great. This one's a white iris and amber. Very, very great bath salts. I was really, really pleased with them. I've actually used all the bath salts I've received from this calendar. All right, let's go ahead. I think we did nine already. I think I'm a day ahead on this calendar. So I apologize. I jumped the gun and started it a day early. This is Gilt Pomander and hin Hinoki. Oh, that is a good Christmas candle. I love Pomander. Yeah, I don't know how I got a day off. Or did I skip a box up here? I don't think I did. No, I didn't skip anything. I'm a day ahead though, because I only have two left and it should end Christmas Eve, right? Because it's Tuesday, this is Wednesday, Thursday. I started it one day too early. Oh well. All right, day 21 is Duke. Aw, Duke has a little green handkerchief on. Bubby, he is zero interest, but we will go and introduce him to Duke. We won't make you move. We won't make you move, but looky, it's Duke. It's Duke. Yeah, whatever. It's Duke. Zero interest. Pour some sugar on me in the name of love. Pour. Wait. <laughs> I might be a day off. Oh, wait, no. It's 21. Oh, my gosh. I pulled out the wrong box. 21. Wait, this is so bizarre. We got the ice cream cones again. I'm not complaining because they're probably my favorite candy in all of this. I don't even want to open it. Have a holly dolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be anything in the box, but have a cup of cheer. It's a hideous green candy that nobody really wants. Oh, by golly, have a holly dolly Christmas this year. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna zig a zig. We got Creole seasoning. I mean, look how cute those are. All right, advent calendars are done. Gifts are wrapped. Things are happening. 
Also, can we just say that this garland was the right call? Look at that scene. <gasps> it's so good. I love Christmas. All right, friends, I thought we would just chat a little bit. And first things first, I cannot put this book down. It's called A Constellation of Vital Phenomenon. It's so good. So it is about uh, Chechnya and people living in Chechnya during and after the war. And it's about a girl named Hava and her father is taken away and her neighbor Ahmed takes her to a hospital. Sonia, a doctor at the hospital, has been taking people in and caring for them during this time. And she reluctantly takes in Hava and it's just about their story and it's so beautifully written. Like, I cannot put it down. It is so good. I highly, highly recommend it. It's linked down below so you can check it out. It is such a good book. It is so good. Um, but the other thing I want to talk about is a post that really resonated with me. And I've seen it circulate on social media a little bit, not much. But I thought I'd share it with you guys because I think it's such an important message. Especially as we go through these last couple days. I... No, I have a lot of friends who are dealing with loss. I've had a lot of people on my team deal with loss this year. And it just seems like there's just a lot going on in people's lives. And I just thought this was a beautiful message. And I'm just going to read it to you. You're going to come in contact with an awful lot of people who are at their absolute breaking point this season. Friends, family, co-workers, teachers, strangers in the grocery store, retail workers. While it may be the merriest time of the year for some, Sorry, it's the- Sorry, did you say that again? Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Look at Siri ruining the mood. While it may be the merriest time of the year for some, it is the saddest, loneliest, most stressful, most heartbreaking for so many others. We're all busy, but we're not too busy to be kind, caring, and patient. Remember, the best thing you can give someone right now is love. Everyone you meet is in a different place. And for some, it is like the best time of the year. For others, it is one of the most traumatic. Some people are excited to see their family, some are not. Everyone's dynamic and everyone's story and everyone's lens of which they look at this time is different. And that's not just true for this time of the year, but all times of the year. And all I would ask is that you go through your days with a lot of love, grace, forgiveness, patience, and kindness. And just give it and pour it onto people because it will really make a huge difference. With that thought, tonight... I was going to film Danielle and I and like add it into this, but like that's for her and I and a time for us as best friends to just connect and talk and laugh and have a good time. And that's what I'm going to prioritize because I would want you all to prioritize just the same. So I'm going to sign off this vlog. I'm going to enjoy my evening. I'm going to pick up this camera first thing in the morning and I am going to have a great night, and I hope you have a great night too, whatever that means for you. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends.